So here I am parked at a dealership, Nissan dealership in Boulder on 28th Street. They offer a charging, a DC charging station for free, I'm guessing to pretty much anyone who wants to roll up here. I don't know whether it detects this is a Nissan as well or not. So I just plugged it in and started charging and it's working. The other factor that I wanted to point out here is that even though I'm charging with a DC high-speed charger, which should charge the car up completely within 50 to 60 minutes, 80% uh, or whatever the limit is that they, they restrict the fast DC chargers to, I can still turn the vehicle on and operate the air conditioner and listen to the radio. I can sit here and do work while I'm waiting for those miles to pile up. And I notice they're also still piling up. So I can tell that it still is charging and I see the lights going on the dash, which are these little three bulbs Nissan, all Nissan Leafs have to alert you that it's still charging. I just thought I would take a short video here to let you know, all Leaf drivers know that this is a convenience. I'm hoping also, that the Aptera will provide the ability to run your electronics inside the car while you're waiting for a charge. Um, it's very convenient. I use it a lot to work on the computer while I'm waiting for the temporary charge to get me back home, especially when I've only got less than 40 miles now uh, left in range. As you can see, the bars on the right on a leaf, Nissan leaf, indicate the battery's health. And right now it's showing one, two, three, four, five, six bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars out of a total of 12, which is about 58%. So the battery is now down to 58% of its efficiency at almost 60,000 miles. I think it's 50,000, 58,992 and I've got 58% of the efficiency. So this battery started out as a 24, I think or 24 or 40 kilowatt hour, I think it's a 24 kilowatt hour battery that would extend this car, this vehicle brand new uh, to 80 miles on a single charge. Now I'm down to 40 miles on a single charge and yet I still am able to get to the office and home or get to the office charge at the office and continue while I'm working and continue after I get home to run errands, drive the kids around, get them, pick them up from school, what have you. Uh, as long as it's local and in town, I don't, I don't have any worries. But when I take, like I did today, my daughter to Boulder after driving around uh, a little bit today, I was down to about five miles at the, I took her to her orthodontist to get her, uh, her braces off and she's excited about today. However, as you can see, it ticked up while we're waiting and talking and the air conditioning is running, which is very nice because it's a nice warm day out today at 79, which isn't too hot, but enough to, if you're sitting in your car, want the air conditioner on. Anyways, I drove her to Boulder and now I'm just parked over around the corner at the, uh, at the dealership here and they've got a, ha a fast DC charger. I've noticed, I've tried doing this with the other high-speed chargers, I cannot turn on the electronics or the car at the same time as I charge. So um, only the DC charging on this Nissan LEAF, this is a 2013 Nissan LEAF, will allow you to have the electronics running. So that's it for this session, and I will uh, continue to post results on EV driving with only 40 miles a day.